everyone. My name is Fishco Supervisor Ozzy Alba. Uh, today we're at Fishco Rural Cemetery remembering Memorial Day. Uh, it's a unique challenge this year uh, due to the COVID-19 restrictions. So we decided to try something different. Uh, this year we're going to remember the uh, war heroes of Vietnam. Uh, the town of Fishco lost three sons uh, to Vietnam. Uh, one was Michael Barlow, a Fishco resident who lived on Charlotte Road right next to Osborne Hill. He was a Marine. He was killed by a uh, hand grenade in Vietnam. He was 20 years old. On the uh, memorial pages, a few people have made some comments and I'd like to relay those comments to you. Lucy Milchek recently wrote, please watch over America. It still needs your strength, courage, and faithfulness. Rest in peace with the angels. Kurt Carter added, as an American, I would like to thank you for your service and for your sacrifice made on behalf of the wonderful country. While anonymous, anonymous Marine left the two simple words, Semper Fi. Michael is buried in Arlington National Cemetery in Washington, D.C. Another Marine, Richard Smith, is buried here in Fishco Rural Cemetery. And this is where he lays in peace. Richard lived off of Old Green Road to the northeast part of town. He was killed when his tank ran over a mine, killing him and his old tank crew. He was 20 years old. Also on the same website, there were some comments. Richard Smith's cousin, Aldo Torriani, offered his thought on Memorial Day in 2017. Thinking of you on Memorial Day weekend, wondering how different the world would be if you were here and how different it is that you are not. Nearly 20 years ago, Jamie Dennison, a student at the time, wrote on Richard Smith's memorial webpage, your family should be very proud of you. You are my hero in my eyes and a hero in all my classmates' eyes. You will never be forgotten. Victoria? Fishco salutes you. We are now at the gravesite of Lieutenant Robert Bruce. He was a lieutenant in the United States Army. He lived off of Shirley Avenue. He earned the Silver Star, and I like to read the citation. Second Lieutenant Robert Bruce distinguished himself by exceptionally valorous section action on 13 September 1969 while serving as a platoon leader during a mission in a thick jungle area of Tainai province. The advance element of his company was hit by an enemy force of unknown size and several members of the element were seriously wounded. Lieutenant Bruce went complete with complete disregard for his own personal safety Whereas forward, picked up a machine gun from his wounded gunner and began laying down a heavy volume of suppressive fire, enabling the wounded to be treated and evacuated. As the last man was being pulled back to a secure area, the enemy suddenly launched a determined assault toward the advanced element and Lieutenant Bruce was mortally wounded. His intrepid efforts aided in saving the lives of his fellow comrades and was essential in repelling the enemy forces. Second, Lieutenant Bruce's gallantry, personal bravery, and devotion to duty were in keeping with the highest tradition of military service. For this action here on the Silver Star. Also on the Vietnam Memorial website, we have a fellow veteran with the same name that stated, say, thank you for your service, Bob. Was there twice, but our paths never crossed. Rest in peace, brother. Lieutenant Bruce's cousin, Leanne Jones, remembered, he is my cousin, and I, happen, and I happen to be only 10 years old when we lost him. I remember Bobby as having a great sense of humor, and whenever he came to visit at our grandparents, the whole visit consisted of huge laughs. My mother and Bobby's father and her brother and sister, I miss him and loved him dearly. I'm proud of him. The three men we remember today are simply a snapshot of a sacrifice made of nearly 250 years of our nation's histories. Millions of men and women of every race, creed, religion from every corner of our country have fallen to represent all of us. Victoria?
So this is Memorial Day, I request that you say a prayer for all the souls lost in combat, especially these three great men that came from Fishville.